Hello, Internet. Uh, my name's Dave. This is my best friend, Kevin, and we're playing Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Kevin's already shaking. I am not a fan of games known to be scary. I don't like going to horror movies. I don't like anything involving horror or scary or fear. Or... So naturally, we decided I should probably play this game. Yeah, it feels special that Kevin's doing this for you. All right, let's get this started. Uh, we should say that this is a completely blind playthrough, so we don't know what to expect. Um, Slade, man. I'm not exactly having the best time of my life right now, I'll be honest. <laughs> but, uh, Flesh. whatever. Oh, that's Bone. gross. Bound together with the Odyss magical incantation. Mm. Okay, very this nice. This wretched book is where it all began so The Necronomicon? <laughs> I guess so. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Reuters. Hello. I'm a clinical <laughs> psychologist. <laughs> I am also dead. Oh, uh, well, that's this unfortunate. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Reuters family. It is the story of humanity. So we've never played like this game not, before. We've only heard tale of it. Yeah, and I actually, I've never really even Your seen anything. Will not change I know that your head falls off at one point, and that this... The Nintendo will blue screen you. Yeah. On the edge of so like all your data is corrupted. Ignorant of so much. That's why I'm excited, dude. This is the only M-rated game that Nintendo has published. I know. The so that's fun. Grow restless. I'm excited for this. Once again to be here. I know you are. I'm really not. By fate or misfortune. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's My basically. I don't path. think this game is known for jump scares so much as it just kind of just fucks with, with you constantly. Their uh, attention bro. turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line. How are Great. you telling me the story the from dead? Of humanity. I don't know, man. But I bet I'm gonna take control of that lady. And, uh, yeah. Well, okay, I have a shotgun. How do I shoot? <laughs> How do you shoot? <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Slowly waddle away! Alright, I like it. Just fucking dropping you in right away. These, these skeletons ain't goofy. No, I think I have to leave. I can't leave. Oh shit! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That was, no. That was just about the worst way to throw you into anything ever. I did not like that. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> hey, look, the clock is three, three, three. It's almost like it should. It's almost like it should be six, six, six. But that's sure not possible be. for a clock. No. Hello. Is this Alexandra Reuters? Um. Yeah. Who's this? This is Inspector McGrath with the Rhode Island Police. I love to say like funny, you know, dick jokes, but. This game's not giving me a whole lot so far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my grandfather's out. dead. I'll be on the next flight out. Because apparently I care about my grandfather a lot. Um, why was I shooting skeletons with a shotgun? I don't know. Okay, well, apparently right trigger to lock onto something and it is to shoot. Glad that's you all. figured that out. That's all I got so far. Ah, that guy has a Reuters? very I'm big chin. To meet you. I trust you have a does. Trip? Um, yes, it's closer. Keep your eyes open. My condolences to you. <laughs> most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Oh, he wants Listen, to bang her. Can you get this over with, please? Of course. She doesn't want to bang him. This way. Nope. But I must warn He's you, like, it was not a pleasant sight. I'm persistent. <laughs> I'm going I'm to bend you over one day. Much and going this is not the best place to pick up chicks. Stick it right in your butt. Yeah, why does he sound like Bane? Everyone's out. <gasps> ah, ah, ah! Blood and drapery, and a hand with a ring on it. Mm. That your grandfather is the I don't have blanket anywhere. That's how she found out. <laughs> There's an accident with your grandfather. Where are you is this, this your grandfather? Oh, shut your dental records or something. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it's really hot. I'm sorry. Job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no point. 
I needed coffee to wash out the stupid amounts of black cherry soda that I had in my mouth. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left hasn't said much. So I'm guessing that this is a story of revenge. You better find out who did this. I don't know. Maybe no one will listen for you either. Yes. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. We need to get it to the city. So do I. How far are you willing to go? Pretty deeply into his sanity, I guess. Oh, two weeks. Oh, wow. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated by the incompetence <laughs> of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward considered his re conducted, conducted his, his research. research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be here. Alright, start exploring the mansion. I'm gonna go over here. The sword. Yeah. Oh, a wooden pla plaque is fastened Staying to the door. Place of the lock. The code says this car and the little slot is wide enough. You need a narrow blade. I need a sword. Unfortunately, women don't come equipped with those. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> eh. And you're just kind of bitch slap. Eh, eh. Can I examine this fire? No. No. Oh, God. What, are you already on edge? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man, those whispers. I don't like atmospheric games, because it always does it very well, and it makes me poop. Hold on, let me, uh... Oh, don't turn it up. No. A little bit. Gotta be able to hear it, man. Do we have to, though? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something up there. That's There's a door. door. An observatory. Uh. That's some kind of puzzle, I think. A crank socket is mounted on the LET telescope and appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a brass pedestal. Curious contraption to be sure. What purpose could it possibly serve? Should Alex adjust the mirror? Uh, yes. Of course. Oh, great. I gotta do it myself. I mean, like, I don't can, know. can you adjust the other one? This one over here? Yeah. So, how do you think you gotta do this? I don't know, man. <laughs> what if you've been... A globe cradled in a wooden frame, its glossy surface is painted with the likeness of an ancient map. A lens is situated on the northern hemisphere above the ladle that reads. There be. There be dragons, dragons here. here. There be dragons. All right. There's another mirror over here. God damn it! <laughs> what are we supposed to do with all these fucking mirrors? I don't know, man. I mean, there's arrows on the mirrors. Are we supposed to? Line it up with the arrows? Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, try lining. Well, what does the other mirror do when you adjust it? Cause it's, no, not that mirror. The mirror oh, in the corner. corner. Yeah. Have you been, even noticed the difference in anything? What is moving? Nothing that I can make sense of. Yeah. Just go this way, I guess? Yeah, I guess. I mean, Are we even supposed to be in here right now? I. Do you think I know? What does the other one want? Shit, dude. Let's just go somewhere else. Yeah, alright. Nope. Maybe something would be over here. Yeah, he's just... A clue, maybe. There's gotta be a little more of a clue to this. Alright, maybe search around somewhere else. I'll try it. Oh, she looked at something. Oh, it's a tree. 
A warm glow of candlelight, the Rovius, the Rovius family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family's secrets are revealed. Well, look, look closely. <laughs> just scribbles, like, I know, I know. All right, um, I want to make this one like 15 minutes long because. For the episodes? Yeah, well, because the opening cutscene was five minutes. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah, we'll go long for this episode. See, like, what's the problem? I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I just kind of walk around and do shit. Just gotta get over the, you know, fear. <laughs> There's no fear. I'm trying to find out what the fuck to do. There's something to look at there. Mm, there's nothing to look at there. <laughs> huh. Oh, it's a desk. Yeah, go look at the picture. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very nice. There's an ominous clock. Try to examine everything in there. No? Is there a run button? There is. Okay, that's good to know. Go upstairs, maybe? Or is there's a back room back here? Yeah. Door's locked. Okay. Can't go that way yet. Oh, look, there's a picture of this dude. Ah, that dude. Ooh. Portraits of the ancestral Roivus line. Uh, the foyer walls. The faces <laughs> reveal a dark, brooding edge. Oh, there's the something edge. on each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. Yeah. They're I'm, ugly. I'm, 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 feeling, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty unsettled right it's now. It's because they're ugly. Guess so. Damn. Hey, look, it's the same fucking guy. Noticing those weird ass whiskers again. Alright, is there any other doors you can go through? Uh, nothing that we can I, I don't. I th there's gotta be something later that tells us what to do with the telescope. What about that door? Door's locked. Door's locked. So there's only two places I can go into. Well, did you try any of the doors over there? Yeah, we tried all these doors over here. Haven't tried this door yet. Okay, this looks different. Grand piano stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the fellow oh piano God. fell into disuse. I feel like that's a stab at me. <laughs> 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 Gotta get working on that keyboard, yo. I know. Collection of strange line designs linked to each other in a cylindrical manner. <laughs> there appears to be some significance to it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that shit is. Well, I am absolutely stumped as to what the hell to uh, do. Try somewhere else. The table is set for one. Alex's grandfather. Edward's private nature meant he never had many visitors, and this is the lonely <laughs> evidence of it. Oh. Why would you live in a giant ass manor by yourself? So you could have a whisper machine. To scare Actually, people. fuck that. Yeah. I... See, the problem is I'm really on edge too because I feel like something will pop out soon. Uh, I don't think that's the nature of this game, but I just don't know. Did you try that door? I have tried this door. It's the first door I went into. Oh yeah. It's the blade. Did you explore other stuff in this room? I mean, like. About everything that I think I could. Uh, I don't know if her head like moves in a direction that means it's something worth checking out. Okay. Well, um, let's head back to the foyer and uh, foyer. Foyer. Yeah, you're you're right. It is. We have been over it. Unfortunately, we lost the audio. <laughs> exactly. Uh. All right. Well, let's head back to the uh, foyer. Foyer. And uh, let's end this episode. Let's put our heads together and try to figure this shit out. What's, is there anything back uh, here? Uh, maybe, what about that clock? Beautiful carriage clock, the hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. The time for, uh... 3.33, that's the time on her There is a key clock. in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Yes. We'll look at it in the next episode. Alright, well maybe we figured out what to do.